My name is Tebs. Um, I'm the founder and creative director of Physics Media. I've been doing this magazine for five years now. I have a content imprint called Digital Timers, and I have a clothing brand called Physics Private. So progressive art is essentially, it started out as trying to define what progressive art is. And over the last three days I've been here in Berlin, interacting with different like-minded people, people who challenge my thought process in a way. I started out interacting with a gentleman, his name is Atsu Matsushima. He's the editor-in-chief of Clutch Magazine in Japan. Atsu's energy was one that brought wisdom. He's been in fashion for, for a long time. It was very eye-opening to have that conversation with him. で、まあ、僕もと僕は若い頃からそのファッションが好きだったから、え、興味を持ってたんだけど、うん、全然エディトリアルな仕事っていうのは、え、ファッションの仕事はしてない。最初は。え、一番最初のファッションマガジンとし
director of Savvy Contemporary, and I'm here with Bonaventure So Bejen Dikong. Um, so he's going to give us his perspective on what art is and what progressive art is. Savvy Contemporary, please uh, tell us more what it's about and the history of the gallery. Well, Savvy Contemporary is a, it's an art space that deals with issues at the threshold between the West and the non-West. It's a place that um, I mean, is run by 23 people, all volunteers from 11 different nations based in Berlin. Um, so Savvy Contemporary was founded in 2009. We did the first exhibition in 2010. And it's a, it's a discursive platform. It's a space that reflects a lot on performativity. Um, reflecting on archives, on the living archive. We like to move from just exhibition making as this platform, but to, to extend it to the format of the book. But we also like to reflect on, on writing as a phenomenon, as a concept, you know. So that's why we do performances as well. So we shift then from the book to the body, or we see the body as a book, a platform on which um, histories are also written. How would you define art for yourself? What is art to you? It's not necessary to define art. I don't. I don't think so. I mean, it's also it's something people have been trying to do from time immemorial. You know, also there's a problem about really wanting to define everything in the world. You know, things that can just be. You know, art is art when it's called art. When do we get to a point that we we say that we can't define this? Well, how do we know what not to define and what's undefined? It's, 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 I don't think there's a point when it's undefinable. If the author calls it that way, then it is defined. I don't think it's for any other person to contest it. I don't know what progression is, you know. So you have a lot of these terms, you know, these things, you know, progressive, this, progressive, that. I don't, I don't know in what way progressive. Financially? Or what? You know, in what way? How are we looking at it? I don't know. Good art is has always been progressive. So after my conversation with Bonaventure, and after my conversation with Daniel, and after my conversation with Atsu, I learned that there is no definition of what progressive art is. You can give meaning to something, but giving a meaning to something doesn't mean you give a definition to it. And when you give a definition to something, it's it's flat. You can't do anything more than that definition. But when you give meaning to something, that meaning can take you forward to another level. My journey to Berlin, I've discovered that I'm here to give meaning to what progressive art is. I'm not here to define what it is. If, even if I did define what it is, someone can come up tomorrow and be like, yo, this is nonsense. So I'm here to give meaning to what progressive art is for myself. Once something has meaning, it's, it's empowering, as opposed to when it's defined. Because when it's defined, it can be limiting. Art can make a conversation, you know, and uh, it just depends on how you take it. And for me, it's important to change the conversation. We can't, we can't have the same conversations forever.